Okay, well, let me set the camera. Oops. Okay, we're gonna move on to turn 16. May 1920. So let's see who, the, who gets the initiative. Oh, it's a 4 4 tie, but the Reds still have their leader box filled, so it becomes a red initiative. The Poles do not enter the war yet again. Roll for white random events. They get partisans, so here we go again. Alright, where is the most annoying place like the partisans in the east? Probably not where all those guys are just there outside of Omsk. I think it's gonna be here. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in Orsk. There you go. Now you gotta come get my partisans. All right. Ooh, that was annoying for the Reds. That's kind of really annoying. The Reds roll a twelve, which is a red leader. All right. Let's see what kind of red leader is gonna come out. We got some good candidates. All right. The leader we get is Tukachevsky. Very good one. So let's see what kind of front he goes to with a random die roll. Goes to the western front. Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually good because we have the southwest and the west now to take Poland. That's actually huge for us. So very big, big time movement. And we get the western shit for free now. Okay, great, great event for the Reds there. Okay. So. I think what we'll do is we will start with um, the east, because I want to start getting these guys. We'll do strategic movement first, and then we'll do the east. And honestly, the only thing I think I'm gonna strategically move is start moving some guys out of here uh, in this front. And I think we'll start with the 13th Army. I think these are plenty to go take on Baku or whatever. I don't even need to dispatch any of these guys, really. Uh, so I'll take the 13th, and he will strategically move to uh, Jitomir over here. And that reverts to red control, because it was a red, it's a red city. Um, and then I will take the army out of, the 8th army out of Tanarag or whatever, and it's going to come to, um, you know, I probably should go grab those. Mm, no, I'm trying to fight Poland. It's going to go to Smolensk up here. All right. All right, so now we're going to pick the Eastern Front to go first, because I want to get some of these things taken care of and hopefully get them moving. All right. Everything else goes into the cup. All right, the Eastern Front. So annoying to get partisans, but I have armies that will come take care of them. So let's start moving these guys off map. Uh, down and in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. And I think what we'll do is we'll send the rifles over here to go one, two, to take some beers. Our flotilla that's gonna die because I'm not gonna leave it there with anything. And this guy's gonna go one, two, three, and get outside of Martinburg. Start moving towards that partisan unit. And then this, they would only move two, so it goes one, two, and they'll pop back out so that we can take some beers. Okay. Bingo, that was east. Oops. Northwest, uh, they're gonna hang out because they're actually already set up in the best defensive position they could be in. So Northwest is pretty happy. The Western Front, our new activated Western Front, thanks to Tugachevsky. So that includes um, some of these units, like the newly placed Smolensk unit and the Petrograd unit. That's pretty nice. So we're gonna have to eventually have to make a move on Riga. 
but I think we're gonna have to maybe just start focusing on killing Polish units. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and the guy in Kiev will stack with the guy in Jitomir. Who then will, they'll just move together, right? All right. Yep, they'll stay here. Just has that issue to mirror. Oh, that's the southwest front, isn't it? Oops. Oops. Um, oops. Yeah, so we'll just do that in the west, and nobody else will move because I don't have anything else. So, yeah, that's good. All right. AFSR has nothing. All right, so the Polish now have something to do because they're starting to see movement down here. So I think what we're gonna have to do is um, some of these guys go one, two, two, three. Yeah, we'll just keep them here. And then are these guys even in town? Yeah, they're in a town. I think they're gonna go one, two, and come take hold breaths. So we're gonna have to sort of um, doing that move there, okay. Logistics chip. All right, so, I guess I should have moved the red train down here, I didn't think about that, but it's just chilling. Everybody's in the supply, so let's just roll to see if these two go there. The Kona Mia will take the red die. Nope. Let's see that army in Kiev. Yes, and some ragtag forces there. I think we'll do the fifth army on the top. We'll get the red die. They both rally. This guy probably would do it. It's gonna be there. I'll just click the control. All right, and that's everybody that I know to rally. Oh, the Latvian rivals that we can not see, just because they're right there. They need to rally, maybe. And they do. So they're back to their full strength. It's been a while since they've done that. Okay, so we did that one. Uh, field staff chit. I need to get an army in the north so I can start taking, I don't need to actually know because I'm focusing on taking the Polish people. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and move the southern front because there's no reason to wait for the southern front shit to come up when I can just start moving guys. So let's go down here. We need to go down and take Baku. It's going to be uh, our target of what we need to get. So we're going to go one, two, three. Actually, technically I can't go, well, it's a neutral city, right? One, two, three. One, two. Oh yeah, he can't get that far, can he? One, two, three. Oh yeah, he can't get that far either because we can't stack in this area. <laughs> two, three. So yeah, that should be enough to take that. And then we will, actually what we'll do is we'll go one. We'll send this guy up. One, one, two, three. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And I can mark that I have that city. And then we'll take the corner media actually and we'll move it um because it's got four movement they can actually go places so we'll go one two um three four and end up in a city so they can transport next turn to the front we'll start moving guys to poland okay southwest front um we'll do what i was trying to do earlier when i thought i was activating just the western front and i will take um, one, two, three, and then actually we'll just kind of hang out here in Jitomir. Just stack it up there. And, oh, I have all these other units here in the southwest I should move to. Yeah, they're all going to start streaming over, so I think we'll, oh, I got these leftover smudge marks, all right. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, because I'm going to have two hexes of overstack. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, so we're going to slowly just make our way over. Okay. 
Yeah, my two best commanders and my two most key fronts right now are big. South already went. And the only two chits left really don't matter. It's going to be the Siberians who cannot move and or have no units to move, I should say, and the North and Islamic who have nothing else to do because they're in the cities they want to hold um, over there. Okay, so I think we'll, we'll just keep the turns rolling because I'm about to go into strategic turn F and it's going to be very quick and the turns now are just becoming very, very quick. So we'll go ahead and just keep keep recording. I'll try to do like little 30 minute chunks maybe. All right, go strategic turn F. Don't have victory yet, of course. Uh, we get no reinforcements. There's no armies to replace. So we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, so we move on to the next turn. 17, we'll roll for initiative. Uh, it is a tie, so the reds retain initiative because they get the plus one. The whites, the Polish people still do not enter the war. And let's roll for the white events. They roll a six, that's AI up offensive, but <laughs> not very helpful. And the reds roll. Ooh, three. Aircraft, add one air red unit if available. Hey, that's pretty cool. We actually get aircraft, which I have not had a chance to use in this game, so that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at aircraft rules. Where are they? Okay. An aircraft unit may be placed on any attacking or defending supplied, non-partisan, non-reading, red, AFSR, whatever units in a combat involving in, in any unit involving combat. Only one aircraft may participate per side per battle. Nice. So we just get an aircraft unit, which is only two for the red seed to get. So we have one right there. All right, hold on. Don't shh. Stop. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get them out of here. Come on, guys. So we have the aircraft units, it's big. We're gonna save that because it's gonna be helpful in battles. Hubble, please lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna go into turn 17. We rolled events, now we'll do strategic movements. Um, again, we're gonna just try to get some armies out of here. Could move some guys up to the front here. Actually, that might be more important, right? Because I get so many get nine points. Please lay down. All right. Dog is being very annoying right now. Okay. So let's see. What was I doing? Strategic movement. I'm losing my train of thought because the dog is interrupting so much. Okay. This guy in Rostov is going to come over here, and he's going to go to Kiev. That's four. I'm going to take... And then we'll take some guys out of Siberia. That's what we'll do. And then... Oh, hit the button with my fingers. Anyway, we're going to move um, some units out of here. So we're going to take this guy out of Chilobiansk. Chilobiansk, actually. And he's going to come down and go to uh, he's going to come down and help out the war. So he's going to actually come down to Gumel. Actually, we'll put him in Smolensk so he can participate in this front and uh, start moving guys in there. Okay, so that's strategic movement. Let us pick the first chit then. Let's pick the first shit. Uh, who wants to move first? I think we'll just go ahead and try to move the eastern shit first because the Polish people haven't entered the war. See if we can take care of some of this uh, partisan problem and keep moving our guys out. So we'll take the east shit. And it comes out first. The other ones go into the cup. Okay. This army will go one, two, three, and it can actually attack this turn. This one will go one, two, three. We'll take these units up here. 
One, two, three. Actually, I'll just hang out in Ufa because I can get the out of this front faster. So I'll just go one, two, three. It's gonna go one, two, and he can also get out of that front faster if he leaves there. Okay, let's attack there. It's four to one, becomes three to one. He rolls a six, I roll a four. Uh, so he gets six defense, I get four plus three is seven, so that's a plus one on a three to one. And then there's a little d, big R, that's nice. So yeah, he gets a little d retreat, so he has to go there, and then he'll have to... Oh, but he can be a little annoying guy and go that way, won't he? And I can advance after him there, so I'll put that. Oh, that's going to be really annoying, that stupid partisan unit. I should have thought of that. Anyway. Ugh, it's so annoying. Okay. <sighs> I guess I really didn't need to bring my rifles over. I could have chilled out. Huh, that's another little mistake. Oh, well. So that was the east. Uh, North and Islamic is chilling. They're not going to do anything. The Polish troops are pretty well positioned. I don't think they need to move anywhere else. I think they're happy with... Well, they're not happy, but that's just how it's going to be for them, I think. Although maybe it'd be smarter to put those guys in Lviv, I don't know, or Lviv, however you pronounce it. That's, that's the city that's had like a million names. Alright, the southern front. So we're going to continue our pursuit of Baku. Every other troop we had in the southern front has left. I didn't move the red train again. Um, because he can't even get close to Poland, honestly, so he's pretty chill where he is. I don't think I need all these guys. I don't know why I brought this much over. But we're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then actually we'll take this guy back. And he'll go one, two, three. So you can actually train out later. All right. Um, logistics. So we still are... Everybody's in supply. The only units that are hurt are just this Ninth Army and Konarmia around Katharina Slav. So those are the only injured units I see on the board. So we'll roll red dice the Konarmia. And the Konarmia does rally, which is big. Big, big, big. So they get nice big bonuses there for attack. And that's it. I'm happy with the garrison network. Western Front. Ooh, just not quite ready to invade yet. That's okay. I'm gonna put that guy there, and then this guy's gonna go one, two, three. Let me double check that I'm not causing Poland. I'm pretty sure Poland only enters under very. Yeah, no, you can stack dudes up on their border and then eventually invade them. Um, I guess they could attack if they wanted to, and they could try to attack into Minsk, but that's probably not going to be a very smart move. Alright, so he's done that, he's stacked here, move that guy there. The FSR has nothing to order. Northwest is not doing anything, they're hanging out in their city. Field staff unit. Let's see, I've already ordered the south, east, and west. I don't think there's anybody else I need to order. No. Nope. Um, southwest front. Yeah, I guess I could have ordered the southwest front, right? But that's that's that front now. Okay, so pretty easy. I think we're gonna just basically bring a bunch of more guys over. And so we're gonna take this guy and go one. He's going to go there. Actually, he's going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to put him there. This guy's going to go one, two, three, four. This stack. And one, two, 
three. This guy will go one, two, three, and go hold up in Kiev. Although technically I can get units there, so let's go ahead and put him there. I could get another trained unit into Kiev. And Kiev is Russian controlled. And then the pesky Siberian partisans will be pesky. And they're going to head up towards Omsk. Good one, two. So I'm going to go send a unit over there to go deal with them, I think, next turn. Oh, we're running out of turns, so I better get moving on this Polish assault soon. Going into turn 18, because that was the last chit, so we'll roll for initiative. Let's see if we can win initiative, see if the Poles will enter the war this time. Nope, it's once again another tie, because that plus one, so we retain initiative. And roll, let's roll white event. Armored train, they have nobody that can take it. And the reds roll another leader. So... Hopefully they don't displace one of our leaders. Gorov that we already have in a nice spot. Nope, they get Central Asia. So that's interesting. Don't really need to check there, but that's interesting in itself. Okay, so let's do strategic movement. I guess we're gonna keep some armies up there because that's a stupid partisan unit, so that's not good. But we will move this 11th army. Yeah, I think it'll actually go to Kiev. And I think that'll be it. Yeah, because I have everybody else ready. So I think we're going to invade Poland this turn. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, I think that's going to have to happen. So should I just start the invasion? I think I probably should. Since I got the red initiative, we're going to go ahead and kick it off on the southwest front. So let's go ahead and get my camera a little bit closer to that front. So we can actually see what's going on. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna take the southwest chit out and all the other chits go in the cup. And let's begin. They're in the open and they're about to get swarmed. So we're gonna bring Thing is, I can only get stuff um, around the sides here. I can't really go. I guess I can go here. Technically, I get supply there, so it's big. So we'll do that stack there. He'll go here. He goes. Oh right, does force count as two or just one? Oh, it does count as two. The swamp counts as two, so. This one's just gonna have to go, I think. Oh, we'll take these guys and go here is what we'll do. That's cool, guys. You'll go here. You'll come. You'll go, what, you were here? So you go, oof. yeah, we'll put you here. One, two, three, four. So I'm not quite able to get to there. That's okay. And this guy will go one. Yeah. Just hang out there. So here comes the southwest attack on the Polish units. I would have liked to have gotten a little more around him. This will this will be plenty because there's eight, sixteen, twenty here. He has six. So that's three to one. Ooh, he rolls a six. We roll a two. So he gets 18, and he has plus one for each guy, so that's uh, 21. We rolled a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have 10, but we have lots of bonuses. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12, um, 16, so we have 26, and what did he have? 18, 21, so we have a plus 5, yeah, plus 5 differential on a 3 to 1 attack. That is a little a, capital D, retreat. 
So we'll have this army take a loss. And these guys will all suffer a loss there. And they retreat to we will advance this guy in. So now we're at war with Poland. And that means they rally better. I think they would rally on a roll of one to two. And if you're in or adjacent to Warsaw, you get a one to three. If red units are in Poland. Hmm, that's nice. So yeah, moved in there. The attack is on southwest. Already doing big time damage. North and Islamic fronts are not doing anything. The Siberian, the partisan, will continue his annoying march to Omsk. He will go one, two, three. field staff shit. So here we could activate the west front and get the drop on these Polish units. We'd get two to one, it'd be one to one. Oh, I forgot about the airplane. Ooh, that's such a good thing to have. I forgot about airplane. Airplane makes things so much better. Um, well, yeah, we'll do that, I think. That's what we'll do. So yeah, we'll bring these guys down. Um, he comes there, he goes one, two, three, we'll attack there, and we'll throw in our handy dandy airplane now in the battle. So we roll our die, that is a, what is that, four, eight, twelve, he has six, it's a two to one attack, but he's in a city, so it's a one to one. Uh, two, four, so he gets twelve, plus three, so that's fifteen. I get one, two, three, four, so it's eight. And I have nine. Nine, three, six, nine plus eight is what? 17. What do we say he has? Four, eight, 12. Um, 15? What did I have again? <laughs> 15 to. Um, this is why I break these stupid things out. I'm sorry if you're watching, you're like screaming at the screen. 15, and then they have what? Uh, eight plus nine is um, 17. So it's a plus two differential on a one to one. It's a little a, little d. And uh, he'll take the loss. Actually, what we'll do is we'll put in the stack, right? And they take a loss as well. All right, that plane is done. All right, so that's a field staff chip. Southern Front will continue its Baku quest. Are we actually going to get there this time? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe we will. So they go one, two, three. No, not quite. And he goes one, two, three. So yeah, next turn we'll be able to get there. How about your six chit? So everybody is in supply. Does anybody need to be helped in the north? Nope, I think it's all gonna be from the Polish front where all the action is constantly right now. Okay, so Polish units heal on a one to two. So we'll start here and we'll make the red die at the top of it. And it heals. And this unit has a chance to heal. It does not. Our red army does there, it does not. That army has a chance, it does not. That army has a chance, and it does not. And that's it for logistics. Yes, okay, next chip. AFSR, don't have anything to do. Northwest are also chilling. Huh, 
<laughs> Central Asia, we have nothing to put in Central Asia. The Western Front, um, oh, we activated, we used the field set to for. All right, the Polish Front. So now the Poles can actually decide to do something. I think what we're going to do is we're going to focus on, I can't really leave this undefended though. Could he get it? One, two, three. He could get it with his army is. Hmm. That's what we'll do. We'll come down here and go one, two, and attack that. And this stack will... Attack that stack. All right, so we've got six to four. It's a one-to-one -one combat. We're rolling. Nice. Got a five-one here, so we have fifteen. And they have what? Oh, nice. He gets plus three, so that's eighteen. He gets one two, so we have a plus thirteen on a one-to-one. -one. That is a capital D R. So he gets that, and he'll retreat to Jitamir. Actually, he'll retreat to there. So I keep Shitamir open for reinforcements. And then we'll attack there. Also, one to one. Oh, yeah. We, that's not so good for us. Um, he gets an eight. We have a three. And they, what, a plus six? So it's a nine. So it's a plus one. And then it's a little a, a little d. the Polish chip. East um, now has this annoying job of trying to get this partisan unit. So now we're going to have to run back again. Go one, two, three, just so he doesn't get to Omsk. But everybody else can get the hell out. So if, uh, actually, do I send this guy? No, he should get one, two, is Veshk. Rifles will go one, two, and hang out there to, to transport. Oh, you didn't see that. They went to the Met City so they can move next turn. And that's it. So that's the end of that turn. So I think I'll stop here because that's, that's a good amount of turns. And um, so when we come back, let's see, still try to take on Poland. Still got to capture uh, Riga and Baku to make that victory viable, though, so it's going to happen. And the pesky Siberians are over here in their partisan units. When we come back, we'll go to turn 19, August 1920.